Okay, what I want to do today is go over some very basic, simple, one-digit addition with you on the abacus just to give you some practice with some easy numbers. So just as a refresher, each one of these beads on the lower portion of the abacus are worth one. Each one of these beads on the upper portion of the abacus are worth five. And then the individual rods represents the various digits in the base 10 system. So th this one, this these, these dots usually represent your starting point. So here's ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. So just as a quick refresher, let's count to 20. So we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So that's just a, a refresher on using the abacus beads. These upper ones representing five, these lower ones representing one. Okay, so let's do some addition. And as I said, these are one digit addition, so they're very simple. No doubt you can do them in your head, but what you want to do is do them on the abacus so you can get used to manipulating the beads. And our first problem here is five plus three. So use one bead for the 5, the upper bead for the 5, and now we want to add 3, so we take 3 lower beads. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Very, very simple. Okay, our next problem is 6 plus 2. So 6 is a 5 bead and a 1 bead. That's our 6. And to that we add 2, so we take 2 of the lower beads. So 5 plus 6, or sorry, 6 plus 2 equals 8. Okay, next problem. 2 plus 4. So we start off with 2. Now we want to add 4, but the problem is we do not have 4 beads available. We've already used 2, and we don't have 4 down here. So how we get around that is we add 4 by adding 5 and taking away 1. So we add 5 and take away 1. Adding 5 and taking away 1 is equivalent to adding 4. And so we have here our answer, 6. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Okay, our next problem is 3 plus 3. So we have here the 3. Now we want to add another 3, but we don't have enough beads down here. So we'll have to do the same thing, or actually a similar thing like what we did before. We'll add 3 by adding 5 and taking away 2, because 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So we'll add 5, take away 2, that is equivalent to adding 3, and here we have our, our answer, 6. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Okay, our next problem is 4 plus 3. There's 4. We want to add 3, but again, we have no beads available. So, we will add 5 and take away 2. That gives us an answer of 7. 4 plus 3 equals 7.